So today is Herbal Remedy Friday. I'm gonna put this video in with Dad's birthday video, which was yesterday. Um, so anyhow, what we're gonna do, this is called lemon water. Lemon water is good for um, all sorts of different things. I am going to put a list in the description of all of them, but some of the main things is fighting the flu, boosting immune, immune system, and also losing weight. So in this herbal remedy, you're gonna need lemon, ginger, and a liter of water. It says use um, ginger pieces. So I got a little bit bigger block than this, um, and I cut this amount off of it. It's not that much. It's how potent you want your um, ginger water. I don't want it that strong, so I'm only gonna use a small amount. They do call for a juice of one lemon. You wanna bring your water to a boil, so while we're waiting on that, we're just gonna go ahead and add our ginger so that it can boil inside of your water. And as this is coming to... All right, guys, once you get your lemons and ginger at a really good boil, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn off your, I didn't turn off your heat. Let it, you want to let it now set for 15 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and just pour everything into our jar. And then when you're ready to drink the next day, you will strain your um, ingredients right off and drink and enjoy. All right, guys, so now that your water has kind of cooled off a little bit, you're going to put them into Mason's background. If you're canning this, fill it to here. But since I am not canning this, I'm actually going to let it cool off, and I'm going to put it right in, in a cool dark place. You put it to a side. And you continue your process. Need to find a lid. So then you're just going to go ahead and get your other mason jar. And like I said, continue. And this should be enough for three. Oh, I'm still going to have more. And I'm going to show you as if you were canning it. I'm going to show you that process right now. So it's about an inch to two inches from the rim. And then you're going to go ahead and fill. Now my liquid is above the rim. So I'm going to go ahead and empty some of that liquid out. It is hot, guys. That's why I just keep picking it up and then moving it real quickly. All right, so now it's about an inch from the rim. Then you're going to come back. And you're going to tidy up your top because you want your lid to um, go to the top of your, to your thing. So then I'm just going to reuse one of these. Ouch, no I'm not. Sorry guys, those were way too hot for me to even, like, take off. So I had to go get another one. <laughs> Alright, so you just put your rim on because it's nice and dry. And you're going to tighten it, loosely tighten it because you don't want to tighten it too tightly because it'll cause it to it won't it won't seal right so you're just gonna loosely put it on to where you cannot turn anymore then if you're canning this you're gonna go ahead and pop it into a water bathing system which is kind of like you would use something like this a little bit bigger stainless steel and you're just gonna stick it in there and let it boil uh, but I'm not canning it. I am so waiting to show you guys some canning videos. Um, applesauce this summer. Um, but like I said, I am not canning this. So, uh, actually, so I'm not going to do the rim. These are just for me to drink in a few hours. Every day, just have something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
remember to like and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, keep in mind that this herbal remedy actually helps with, drain some of this juice out. This herbal remedy helps with different things such as, um, such as immune system, it helps with the flu, it helps with all sorts of different stuff. You're supposed to drink a cup of this in the morning and it's really supposed to boost your immune system and get you ready um, to go that day. It's also good for um, for energy. So comment down below and let me know what you think about this um, herbal remedy. I hope you enjoy Herbal Remedy Friday and Stay tuned for Dad's birthday celebration. All right, guys. Guys, also, one more thing. Keep in mind that if you're not going to be canning this, um, you could always use one of your old jars. Um, I don't see the harm in it. Um, it actually is a little bit larger than my other jars, so it would work perfect. Um, but... If you are going to see, you see it just works perfect. And then you can seal it and open it up the next morning and it works fine. Um, so you could use it, um, but uh, I really think these are pretty. And since I will be heading to work with them, I think this looks a lot prettier to drink out of in front of um, colleagues than, say, this. Um, but there's no shame here. You could always use this just to ferment. All right, guys. You guys enjoy your uh, lemon water. Happy, babe. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to me. He looks so sexy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday, Daddy. Everyone say happy birthday, Dad. Happy and this is how we celebrate Dad's birthday. We play Minecraft. Oh yeah, look at my little... Look, there's our homestead right there on the top. <laughs> Daddy's building a homestead. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Alright. Wait a second. Oh, you thought the video was done? No. I forgot something. Remember, this recipe is supposed to be for a minute. The car jars that I did was a quick easy way just so you could grab it and go without fermenting if you're gonna ferment you want to take your lid of your jar off and you want to put a cloth over top of it this is too thick you want a thin cloth like a cheesecloth or something you would strain your milk with if you were um, getting raw milk from your cow then you're gonna put your lid back on let it set in a dark corner kind of away and let it set for several days, even a month even, and then you could drink it. You don't want to put the lid on there because it could cause like a gas to rise. A cloth lets the gas release. So remember, if you're going to be fermenting, which I was not fermenting, I was just, let me show you. <laughs> I just had it so I could see right here. I just have it so that I can kind of get away from my coffee that I drink every morning. Um, so I was just trying to kind of save, kind of try something different. Um, see, mine is not for a minute. Mine is just, just ready to drink and ready to go just so I could have something that wasn't coffee. Um, but I think I am going to ferment a jar, let one ferment. And I'll show you the process when I get home. But, um, anyways, and we'll kind of watch it as it goes. But, um, anyhow, that's the last bit, guys. Thanks for watching. And please forgive me that I did not put that in the, the other part of the video. But remember, mine is just so I can drink it right now. Let me show you. Guys, I wish I would have had the video on. It was awesome. My can actually was sealed. Ready to be canned when I opened it. Because it was that hot. Alright, guys. And you really don't even have to filter it. Mmm, that is good. 
They say you can add raw honey too. All right, guys, I was just trying to get rid of my coffee in the morning and drink something that ha gave me energy with a little less caffeine. All right, guys, don't forget if you're going to ferment this, which is the best way to do it, um, just cover instead of using your metal lid, use a cloth. Receiving blankets are nice because they're thin. And also, don't forget a cheesecloth. All right, guys. Later.